Hi, Steve, a Suffolk Sifter. I use a Canon 700D when I'm out and about filming YouTube channel videos. And the one thing I struggle with in bright sunny days is seeing the LCD monitor which comes with the camera. It's quite a small one and I find it difficult to see what settings I've got and in fact if I'm in focus or not. I think I found a bit of kit which is going to sort me out and I'd like to do uh, an unboxing and later on after I used it I'll do another video for a full review. The piece of gear in question is made by EYOYO and it's the E5 4K camera assist. Basically it's a 5 inch monitor which I intend to mount on the hot shoe of the Canon. There's also uh, an articulated arm which comes with it so you can mount it in other ways on the tripod or a different sort of bracket on your camera and you can manoeuvre the monitor in whatever position you like. I won't drag out the unboxing, I'll take you over to the unboxing and I'll just get stuck straight into it and no faffing around and undoing packages. One thing I've got to make you aware of at the beginning is this monitor comes with no power whatsoever, there's no AC adapter, there's no batteries. So you're going to have to, if you haven't got the batteries, buy some batteries. Now the option I went with is the LPE6 battery which is common for the Canon 70D and 80D and Niwa they do a kit there's two batteries in here and the USB charger it costs at the time of when I bought it about £24 so you have to add £24 on to the current price of this monitor I'll take you over now and we'll start the unboxing and I'll explain everything as we go. Okay, it's going to be a quick unboxing. This is the E5 4K camera assist and it's manufactured by EYOYO. Hopefully I got the name right. As I said on the offset, you will have to have power of some sort with this to make it work. There's no AC adapter or batteries included. It says in the manual either uses the LPE6 Canon batteries which fit the 70D or 80D or it'll have the F970 batteries. I opted for the LPE6 because I, I might get a, a new camera in the future and it could be an 80D and the batteries will go, will go towards that. Niwa do a kit, it includes two batteries a dual charger which is USB powered. I'll unbox these and you'll see what's in the boxes in three, two, one. Right, that's the contents for both boxes. You've got the newer kit here. There's two LPE6 compatible batteries, dual charging base, with USB lead so that sort your power out. On the E5 side you've got a hood which should help in, in the uh, bright conditions. The monitor it, uh, itself it's a 9 uh, 1920 times 1080 resolution and you've got this multiple angled arm. It's quite clever you've got a knob here you undo or slacken off and then this ball joint will move around there's another knuckle here and another one there so it's versatile you can mount and adjust the monitor in all directions you need to and by turning the knob closed it locks up all three moving joints so this is the monitor I intend, what I intend to do is take this bit off here mount it on the bottom lock it up and there's me hot shoe mount there and it'll go on top of the cannon there's a hood here 
which has got Velcro on there and there's a sort of a the hook of the Velcro there if you just give it a good push up bring the sides out there and there's your hood fitted so that should help keep the glare out on bright days there's also a mount up here so you can add stuff there as a mount on this side as well connections you've got uh, earphone out it's also got a built-in speaker so when you play back you can actually hear your uh, recording audio there's two possible battery types on the back the LP E6 battery goes on this side and it just pushes in like that there's a push to release button there you have to hold down to get your battery out and also this side it's the F970 so if you had an F970 battery it will go on and push to the right sound out you can use headphones there's HDMI out HDMI in and there's your DC 12 volt input as you are aware there's no DC charger with this another option to power it up there's a mini USB socket there so you could run a lead off and maybe use a power supply or a power bank but personally I think the better option would be to get a battery but you're just going to have to factor this in price wise to the monitor controls at the top you've got on off exit F1 now F1 you can set up in the settings to do numerous things just choose one and that's what the F1 button will do there's a left and right arrow and a menu access menu hit the button you can scroll down using the arrows and then menu and then change the settings to get out of the menu press exit you can change resolution all sorts of things the color the brightness the sharpness and everything um, it seems to be very versatile I'm going to try it on the next Suffolk Sifter video and I shall do a video after that on how I got on with it so as long as you bear in mind that you've got no power with the, with the kit and factor in the batteries I think you'll be fine so I hope you found this review somewhat helpful I've tried to be brief and to the point but if there's any questions you need to ask please don't hesitate contact me or comment below and I'll do my best to answer you just to add there is uh, an HDMI lead included with the kit and obviously there's a, a full size HDMI uh, and, a, and a half size or a mini HDMI so from the Canon you put the HDMI in and then the HDMI out the small one goes in the Canon well that was the unboxing how I intend to use this monitor is directly on the hot shoe of my Canon and with the hood hopefully I'll be able to see the screen see my settings and see if I'm in focus or not thanks for watching and if you need any more information I've got links below to the monitor and to the new batteries thanks again